a 57 year old comes to the primary physician shortness of breath his WBC count is 5000 hemoglobin 10.2 and stool is quite positive and uh, the patient underwent colonoscopy and you can see the presence of a mass lesion so what is your recommendation for this given scenario so the recommendation is whenever the people are having a first degree relative who has got a colon cancer or adenomatous polyp at less than 60 years of age they should be screened with colonoscopy every five years beginning at the age of 40 or beginning 10 years younger than the earliest diagnosis done in that particular family member for example if that first degree relative was diagnosed at 45 or 55 then from the 45th year onwards all the first degree relatives should undergo colonoscopy they write recommendations that wholesale business will improve huh? so but there is no option a 70 year old walking across her kitchen she tripped over a rug and fell, out, fell down and x-ray of the wrist is being shown to you so typically it is um, uh, a dorsally displaced, dorsally angulated fracture of the distal radius and uh, the two scenarios where colleagues need an operative intervention. So whenever the fracture is intra-articulate or whenever it is open, that is the time where you need to do the open reduction. Abdomen is tender and distended, radiograph of the abdomen um, typically shows the air fluid levels which is a sign of obstruction so nasogastric tube nothing by mouth is considered to be the management 84 year old with coronary artery disease with congestive heart failure with peripheral vascular disease and atrial fibrillation is having a peri umbilical pain and uh, uh, physical examination only slightly distended abdomen that is extremely tender to palpation and diminished bubble sounds are there and the uh, mesenteric angiogram is being showing the presence of occlusion so what do you want to basically do so classically whenever patients have an abdominal pain abdominal pain is very severe for that severity you expect perforation and abdominal rigidity but clinical signs are milder but symptoms are severe so when that such a disproportion is there you should think of typically mesenteric occlusion is what need to be remembered so i think uh, the remaining some more image based questions are there next week onwards we will try to discuss more number of uh, image based questions in the paper at least 120 130 and this time we will know what is the trend of the examiner most likely 30 40 questions are image based as what i heard from most of the aspirants in the neat pg they are not like uh, uh, what you call 100 120 but let us see we will be only knowing uh, down the line hmm? so only thing is negative marking is there we will add the negative marking in our uh, assessment also so no problem hmm? thank you very much